Hello and welcome to Mark's Tech Talk. In this video, we're going to show you how to construct an ANSI standard OR gate symbol using 2019 version of AutoCAD. So let's uh, dive right in and start that out. Very first thing I do is to make sure my snap is turned on. That is the button in the lower right that looks like a grid of dots. Uh, next thing I do is to adjust the value of the snap, SNAP, enter. And I want a value of decimal 25, and it turns out that's what I had there from a previous drawing. So again, make sure your snap is turned on and that the snap value is 0.25. Now, in order to draw the OR gate, the first thing we're going to do is to select an arc. We get the arc from the Home tab, and is the fourth button over. And we're going to choose the default way of doing that, which is simply specifying three points on the arc. So I click on the arc command and I choose my first. The first point I'm going to choose will be the intersection of two of the heavier lines, uh, two of the large blocks, if you will. That's the first point on the arc. Then I move over one and a half large blocks and down a half. Okay, so again, move to the right one and a half large blocks and down a half a large block. Click, and that is the second point. Now I go down a half and to the right a half, okay, and I'm back at the intersection of two heavy lines. I click there, that is the third point on the arc. So there it is, there is my arc. Now I'm going to extend that arc with a straight line, so I choose the line command in the upper left, home tab again, and I'll click on the beginning of the arc and move to the left one large block. And then I hit escape, uh, because I'm done drawing uh, that line. Now what I want to do is to create a copy of this on the bottom so it looks identical and the best way to do that is to use the mirror command and the mirror command is the second group of buttons the modify buttons under the home tab and right in the middle you'll see mirror. Uh, so I'm going to click on the mirror command and if I watch my prompts on the bottom, it says select objects. So I'm going to select that line, and I'm going to select the arc. And I'm done selecting, so I right click. Next thing it says, choose the first point on the mirror line. I want to mirror it through this line right here. So I'm going to choose, let's say, this point, the intersection of the heavy lines. And then this point here, again, intersection of heavy lines and I do not want to erase the source object so I'm going to choose no don't erase that so there is the beginnings of our OR gate uh, all we have to do is put another arc on the input side to finish this off so again I'll choose the arc command and choose the uh, end of the line here that's the first point on the arc then I'm going to go down one large block and go in a half a block Okay, uh, so that's two and a half small blocks. Uh, then I go to the left a half and down, and that will be right at the end of the line. And there it is. There is my OR gate. Uh, that is an ANSI standard OR gate. Uh, it's also called the IEEE standard. Now, if I want a NOR gate, all I have to do is add a circle. I'll click on the circle. I'm going to go one small block to the right. Uh, that will be the center of the circle. And then I'll move to the left to just touch the tip of the OR gate. And there is my circle that makes the OR gate into a NOR gate. Uh, so that is an OR gate. And that's how you draw to the ANSI standard. So I hope you enjoyed this edition of Mark's Tech Talk. Uh, stay tuned for more videos.